Hey, what's up, guys? It's Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net and YouTube Talking Ball Interviews. Back with another interview. Today, I'm going to be joined by New York Yankees outfield prospect Ben Ruda. Ben, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for coming on. You were a 30th round pick to the New York Yankees out of Wagner University. As a late round pick um, out of a, a mid-major school, do you feel pressure um, that to succeed as a late round pick? Uh, no pressure as a late round pick. You know, just once you get here. Uh, everyone's kind of competing towards the same goal, so all that kind of goes away. And if you can play, you can play regardless of the round you're in. So I just try to play hard and focus on that. Growing up a Yankee fan, how special was that to hear your name called by the Yankees? That was really special. I mean, when you dream about playing for the Yankees ever since you're a kid and then it actually happens, it could have been any of the other teams, but it just worked out that way. So I was ecstatic when that happened. Has pro ball been everything you expected, and have there been any big surprises? Um, I don't know if anything can prepare you fully for professional baseball. I mean, there's a lot that you don't know about going into, but you figure it out fast, and it's just been a blast getting to compete with all these guys and, and just being able to show what you can do and maybe make the big leagues. What's been your favorite part about professional baseball so far? Uh, definitely just all the people I've met from all different places in the around the country and the world really because you just get put all in this one place and you don't really have a choice you just kind of make friends with everyone and you get to see different cultures different guys everyone does things differently and it's cool to make relationships like that that will last a lifetime. Who is one of those people who's helped you out the most in your career? Uh, coach or player wise? Either. I'd say coach wise I have to go with Patrick Osborne, who's been my manager for two years now, and Jay Bell. Uh, they're both just great baseball guys. They have a lot of knowledge, and they're really easy to talk to and share their knowledge well. And then player-wise, oh, I mean, I'd have to go with go from California area. I got Gosuke. He's one of my good friends. I got Jeff Hendricks. He's from Washington State, but he lives in Florida. And I got to throw a shout-out to my boy Brandon Wagner. Jersey guy, so I mean all over, and you got guys from down in the Latin American countries like Diego Castillo, I'm good friends with him, so the list goes on, I can't name everyone here because I'll be here all day. Um, last year, you started the season with Trenton, had a, a breakout year, hit 300, uh, what was that What was the thing that clicked last year that helped you have that big season? Um, just trusting the work, I put in a couple of swing changes and uh, just trying to stay consistent throughout the season with, with those changes and trusting that the results will be there in the end, not necessarily focusing on getting this many hits or this many doubles, homers, just kind of doing a few things right every single day and then the results will hopefully be there in the end. Is there anything you worked on over this past offseason in specific? Uh, yeah, definitely just simplifying my swing even more, trying to be more consistent with it and uh, make better contact in the game. Um, I don't think it's hard to ever say you'd be a f finished product, so I'm always working on something. How are you feeling coming into the season? What's your mental approach um, for this year? Uh, I feel great. I'm going to take a similar approach to last year and just try to play hard. And uh, when I get out there, you know, be, be a nuisance on the bases, put some pressure on the other team, and uh, try to win some games. What are some goals long, ter long term and short term? Uh, long term, definitely make a push towards the majors this year and uh, short term is just make sure I do my routine every day and uh, get out there make sure I take care of my body and then hopefully the rest will take care of itself. What's been your biggest takeaway and lesson learned from pro ball so far? You gotta put in the work or else eventually it will catch up to you whether it's in a week or a month or a year down the road if you don't prepare yourself eventually it will show. Right, man, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it.